Om Shanti. Welcome to Gift from God. Today's day 10. Sweet, subtle, silent. Now we'll be listening to Moini Didi. Om Shanti. How many of you have met Dadi Gulzar? Can I see hands? How many of you have met Dadi Gulzar? Yeah, we fifty percent. Yeah, more. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Show your hands. It was so interesting seeing two personalities, right? When Dadi Gulzar as Dadi Gulzar, and other one is when Avyak Babdada used the chariot and to give Drishti and Baba's Murli. Because as Dadi Gulzar, she was a very loving, simple, friendly, very, very friendly in the sense of, she will just become part of us. I remember that uh, many times in Om Shanti Bhavan, in Pandava, when we used to have cultural programs in the evening, whenever there is a group, then in the end there is cultural program. So she used to come a little bit later. And then, because sometimes we were not sure if she's coming or not, so ne never fix the seat. So when she comes, then on the front row, we all try to move around here, there, left, right, so that we can make space for her. And she will humbly come and wherever we give her to sit, she will be very happy, never make like, oh, you know, generally it is like, where is my seat? And it should be fixed, no? And I used to really look at her and I said, you know, how she does, didn't expect, you know, we generally should be that, you know, we have seats for Zadis, but because whatever reason, we never had seat for her during those programs. Never, never has this consciousness of I'm senior, so I should have fixed seat or, Many times I noticed she will humbly come. And uh, of course, we all have a lot of respect for her. So what I'm saying that as Dadi Gulza, you know, she was very, very humble and had no expectations of any kind. Generally being chariot of God, you know, she should expect there will be a lot of like, Welcome. No, she just came simply and she will sit. So this name, fame, see, you know, she was so far from all that. And I know because of that also, at least I used to admire her, her simplicity and uh, not having this low, I am chariot of God. So I should be given special respect, special seat or everything special. No. So that was very lovely to see. And of course, when being chariot, it was so interesting that, uh, you know, as soon as Baba started speaking or about to speak, you see so many things happening on the stage. Like here too little happens, but they, are, they have to remove this, remove this, remove this. People change of seats up on the stage. Dadi start coming on the stage then, but Baba and Dadi, you know, the way they're sitting as if nothing extern externally, whatever is happening, but very focused, just giving Drishti. And I never forget that because our surroundings, the physical karma yoga, whatever is going around has to be done. But Baba, in a weak stage, very silent, just observing 
and not getting any no disturbance around. And I really admire it and I practice many times that whatever is happening around, but how just stay awake, stay with Baba so that the silence, the focus, concentration and attention or awake state stays. And that's the practice I learned and I pay attention to looking at when Baba comes in the chariot. And uh, so many stories we heard today, we had little sharing. And when someone said that that is looking around in New York City, all tall buildings and activity. But actually she was in very deep silence because she knows this is what happens in the world. This is Iron Age. So that embodiment of knowledge in such a way that there is no nor attraction nor distraction. No attraction, but also not distraction. So it's a very, very beautiful image of concentration, Dadi. And in, as company of Baba, she said, and also that he talked about volcanic yoga. Mm -hmm. That means constantly flame ignited. Even our flames are ignited, but it's more like a star, but it has to be more like a flame. Om Shanti.